So the Austin McBroom fight was last night. He got stopped by an East Gibb. Oh, I had to get it recorded. 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 You know what, in light of all of the talk about who's professional, are these YouTubers professional, you know what I mean? Even Errol Spence was like, yo, y'all can't play boxing. He was talking to Swaggy P, like, yo, put the gloves down, y'all trash. And I don't blame Brody, I don't blame him, because he can't play boxing. Swaggy P came up in there, thought that they were about to play some boxing. That fool was getting head-butted and hit behind the ear, you know. When you're in a fight, in a boxing match, this is a fight. It's not just for show, bro. You're not out here to put on a theater act. You know what I mean? But as predicted, the Nissan fight and uh, the Nissan Gibb fight against Austin McBroom was as explosive as I knew it was going to be. Now, I'm going to get to the stats later and kind of, you know, speak on like the reasons why I believe the social gloves event is overall a dub, a dub meaning like it's an L. But as far as just that fight, the main event fight had main event qualities for sure. There's no doubt about that. So. If you ask me, you're looking at social gloves from the eye test compared to KSI's event and Logan or Jake Paul's event. Honestly, it's not even close. I think that social gloves for to only sell 200 tickets. And I, the whole time, bro, I'm looking around. I'm like, bro, it looks like this is how it looked when like people first started. Mind you, Jake Paul, when he fought in Nissan Gibb the first fight, because they did fight before it. Bro, they dang near sold out. It was people literally all around him and all type of stuff, right? It looked good. And then you have, um, you have uh, uh, the social gloves with the first fight. The first thing was uh, it wasn't very many people there. I remember, um, it was just an overall not very good show. You know what I mean? It was on. I think it was also on Fight TV. They never really transcended. They hosted a pay per view event. I had the pay per view numbers haven't come out yet, but they were having the fight sanctioned by the commission just like all the other um people but it's funny because these youtube boxing events are literally turning into like the three different promotional companies in boxing the same way that there's showtime matchroom and espn now there's like big paul side ksi side and then uh and funny enough uh ksi fights on matchroom now on his own and then jake paul fights on showbox so funny how you know what i mean people try to discredit and say they're not it's not professional it's not this it's not that but in reality they move in the needle and they're really being recognized by these networks the only one that's not though is austin mcbroom's joint austin mcbroom's joint in my opinion the show was lackluster the fights weren't really that good i mean they got one highlight they got a knockout from Le'Veon bell but even before that you know what i mean even that fight was a little stale Blueface, he couldn't get approved by the commission, so he couldn't fight. And the biggest storyline of the night, and I didn't know this until I looked it up mid-event, was, you know, a Nissan Gibb. He felt he got robbed by Taylor Holden. I believe so, because when I watched that fight, it was peace in him. And yeah, Taylor Holden is a, is a boxer, whatever, you know what I mean? But if you ain't got that dog in you, if you don't have that dog in you, then technique and all that can only take you so far when you got to do rushing you you got to be willing to like when jake paul fought a nissan gibb he sat in the pocket and he was willing to work caught him he stopped a nissan gibb and a nissan gibb he fights the same but both of him both him and um jake paul's talent elevated you know what i mean so i think jake paul he's still cleaning up jake paul is definitely cleaning up the youtube uh side of things KSI, I'm not gonna lie, if he fought a Nissan Gibb, that would be a good fight. That would be a dog fight. I think I would want to see that. Hopefully that's next. I think that is next, actually, because Austin McBroom wanted to fight KSI if he won the fight. But, you know, the the, the whole thing was, a Nissan Gibb was like, oh, I got robbed. And then he literally made a video where he was looking up who was the CEO of Social, Social Gloves. He found out it was actually Austin McBroom. So he was like, I'm about to fight Austin McBroom next. And because his professional record has his has a one has an l on it zero and one he said okay cool i'm about to fly out to la and i'm about to knock out the ceo of his own in his own promotion that's like dana white getting in the ring with a ufc fighter bro like imagine how just because he felt like his pay wasn't very good or whatever which is not but um bro you can't come back from that getting knocked out in your own promotional companies you know what I mean? Main card event. You're the main event. You got knocked out, and you were just talking about how it was gonna be easy. 
You were just talking about how it was going to be a fast night. It was going to be an easy night. Are you serious? And then you get relaxed like that? Bro, there's no redemption for you as a CEO, brother. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to make a quick video about it because there's clearly levels to this. You've seen the, the, the people who, you know, they try to be on that level of a Jake Paul, of KSI when it comes to promotional, running the event and fighting in the event. Because that's what Jake Paul and KSI do. They, they host these events and they're their own main card. You know what I mean? Try to see, like, you know, but there's levels to this. Levels to this. That's the lesson at the end of the day. Courage to both of those guys. You know what I mean? Austin Broom and, and Nissan Gibb. I'm glad that the Roman, you know what I mean? Unruly boy, the Batman, he got his he got his redemption and that he'll be moving forward. And um, there's there's a few there's a few people I actually want to see him fight. I want to see him transcend this whole social gloves thing. I think he only fought in it just because he wanted Austin McBroom's fade. And I know Austin McBroom wasn't going to fight him anywhere else. So that was cool. But that's just another L for the, for the Ace family, man. I don't know what to tell you. That's tough. You know what I mean? But just a quick video today. I just want to talk about what happened last night. Um, w, w, Super W main event. Just... I liked it just because I was I just was glad to see Austin McBroom get relaxed, man. With all that talking he was doing. Austin hey, he, look. A Nissan Give has that dog in him. Y'all gonna y'all gonna start playing with that man. That being said, man, subscribe, leave a like. Who are you going for in the comment section? Who do you want to see fight next? And subscribe to my other channel as well. I'll leave it tagged in the um description. That being said, I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I'm out.